Welcome to Bridget here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv. Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv. Hi, welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good evening to everyone and to all our viewers around the world. Uh, good morning or good afternoon. I am Evelyn Songko, your host, and together with me is Attorney Dwight Ramos. Hello, Attorney. Hi, Miss Evelyn, and uh, good evening, good afternoon, and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. Kamusta ka? How is your week? Okay naman, and I'm happy to be back. And of course, uh, always uh, my pleasure to pitch in anytime. At uh, May na, it's already the month of May. Totoo, ma May na, nako. Ito, alam mo, Attorney Dwight, pag Mayo, kaya lang ngayon, syempre, hindi natin o-observe, no? Tuwang-tuwa akong tignan, you know, I'm very happy to look at the girls, the little boys. They're always gathering flowers for Mama Mary. Alam mo, yun, nakapag-participate ka ba sa ganun? Ayo oh, naman, syempre, growing up uh, in our parishes, no? Uh, lahat tayo, oh. na-experience yan. At oh, uh, we look oh. more on sa mga oh. occasion na ito during the month of May. Oo, oh, oh. at saka pagka yung maganda in bloom yung mga gumamela, oh, okay. bunggavilya, naku, ang dami-dami bulaklak ng ating mga bata na Dala-dala, yes. Oh, Attorney Dwight, alam mo, yung guest natin ngayon will tell us more about devotions to Mary. Alam mo, gusto mo i-introduce mo na? Regent yes. mo siya dati eh. <laughs> of course, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce our guest for tonight. Uh, who is Reverend Father Max Gatella, no? OP. He is the current Regent of the College of Education. And he served as the regent as well of the Faculty of Civil Law, the College of Rehabilitation Sciences, the College of Tourism and Hospitality Management. He was assistant dean of the Faculty of Philosophy of the Ecclesiastical Faculty and member of the Board of Trustees of the University of Santo Tomas. He took his doctoral studies in Dominican University uh, College in Ottawa, Canada, uh, where he became pastor at the University Parish at the University of Sudbury, Ontario. He was the immediate past director of the Angelicum School, a Dominican school in Haro, Iloilo. So welcome to the show, Father Max. Welcome to the show, Father. Good evening. Hello po. Hello sa lahat. Yes. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, katuwa, welcome to the show, Father. Tuwang-tuwa kami. Yeah. Nagkaroon ka ng time ha para sa amin. Marami tayong pagkikwentuhan ngayon. Yes, thank ngayon, you for having Father. me. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're sure marami ka mga kwento sa amin tungkol sa Marian Devotion. Oh, Di we'll, Siyempre, mga dumitikan talaga Marian Devotion. Sharing. Uh, sharing natin. Yes, yes. Father, can you share with us yung mga shrines ninyo? Uh, yes. Mga Dominicos, may mga shrines eh. Shrines uh, at maraming devotees dito. Can you share those uh, shrines with us? Yes, okay. So, uh, in our slides, 
it will be shown uh, tatlong major devotion uh, introduced by the Dominicans, uh, namely, La Naval de Manila. Uh, pangalawa would be Piat or ano bang slides natin? It is Manawag? Yeah, At saka yeah. Oh, Piat. Okay. In the northern Luzon. And uh, Our Lady of Manawag. And if you notice, there is a commonality dito sa devotion of in being introduced by the Dominicans. It is centered on the rosary, but look at look at Mother Mary. She is presented as a queen. Ah, malaking, malalaking crowns. Oh, and you know very well that she is being presented as the principle of unity for the Philippines. Uh, a ruler. A ruler who is at the same time gracious, who is also at the same time mother. And if you focus on Manawag, for example, uh, diba from, the, from the word Manawag, eh, she calls people to prayer. She calls people to prayer. And that is a very beautiful way of getting out of ourselves. Na ang Diyos naghanap ng paraan para we could get out of ourselves and indeed hear ourselves to him through the blessed mother and if you notice uh, if you look at our lady of uh, lanaval for example the significance is of uh, national uh, nationwide uh, dito, ang, ang kanyang saklaw. because when the philippines was endangered she was invoked both at the lanaval and uh, at the same time i would like to to include EDSA revolution. We oh. brought the image at EDSA. Yes, and uh, that was at the time when we're in. The tide was turning on our favor. That kumalma ang mga, kumalma ang mga, mga military. And then we had peace. And the whole world was watching us. And uh, we brought mm -hmm. the image of Ladabal. I was there. I was there. Oh. So that's why... We need this uh, ruler image, as, uh, but at the same time, mother, para to bring unity uh, to, a, to a world that is topsy-turvy, to a world that is, um, uh, magulo. <laughs> and when she is there, there is unity, there is peace. Oh, napakaganda nung sinabi niyo, Father. Ruler and mother. Ang ganda ng sinabi nyo. Yes, Ruler, uh, mother, at, nag, at merong peace. At pinatawag niya talaga tayo para magdasal. Ang ganda-ganda ng talk na yun. Mother yes, and wife. Yeah. Yes, and uh, syempre, lalo na ngayong uh, panahon ng pandemic, uh, we really need her help. No, lalo, lalo na sa mga yes. panahon na to. I, for one, uh, I'm a devotee of... Uh, our Lady of Manawag, talagang lahat ng prayers oh, ko. Yes. <laughs> and Father, uh, marami rin pong devotees. Yes. Uh, our Lady of Perpetual Health, Our Lady of Fatima, yes, Our Lady uh, of Words, no? or, and correct. Our Lady of Manawag. Uh, uh, can you also give us a uh, thought about this? Yes. Okay. Kasi for, for some people, parang pare-pareho lang lahat. Uh, in this presentation, I want to highlight na bawat devotion of the uh, towards Blessed Mother, it highlights a particular need sa buhay ng isang tao. It highlights a particular aspect na minsan hindi natin uh, binibigyan ng pansin. All of them would invoke the image of Mother. That is the common denominator sa lahat ng mga devotions to the Blessed Mother. It will always be the Mother. But then, look at this. Look at this. Our Lady of Fatima. In Our Lady of Fatima, wala kang magitang river, walang bumubulwak na tubig. Uh, paano nagsimula uh, ang Our Lady of Fatima? Alam nyo, sometime in 1917, yung apparition, yung apparition and uh, this was made uh, this was made famous by the dancing sun the miracle of the sun what is fatima fatima is 
a way out way talagang yung lugar niya is nothing ah huh? it's bare ano makikita mo doon olives uh, uh, practical next to being barren uh, mabato uh, and everything but pinili ng mahal na ina na magpakita doon uh, by choosing the three visionaries at ano ang message ng Our Lady of Fatima uh, marami siyang pinakita doon uh, pinakita niya yung hell ma uh, pinakita niya yung yung mundo uh, where we are moving uh, it's it's beyond the need of oneself kaya nga nakalagay dito I am the lady of the rosary I have come to warn the faithful to amend their lives and ask for pardon for their sins we should experience the church being together the church not just as myself and God but we are a church I am concerned about our community, especially if faith is waning. Ah, di po ba? Kaya nga, para sa akin, if you're attracted to one devotion, may rason yan. May rason yan. Uh, for example, uh, sa Our Lady of Fatima, if you are very much worried about the salvation of the world, chances are the devotion to Our Lady of Fatima will be more appealing to you. And kung makapakapunta kayo sa Fatima, Kahit na may crown siya, that crown is very simple. That crown is very simple. Walang glittering, walang glittering diamonds, wala. And the image of Our Lady of Fatima is short. Madaling dalhin. Madaling dalhin. And yes, and the attitude of, of the priests. Pag pumunta ako doon para mag-concelebrate, uh, walang hinihingi ng mga, ng mga papeles na Totoo ka bang pare? No, no, no. Everybody is welcome. All the faithful, uh, they are all welcome. And maki, kung makapapansin ninyo, other than the, uh, the procession to Our Lady, the Blessed Sacrament, ang pinoprocession ng mga devotees. Uh, una muna yung mga, mga pare, and then the people. Anong highlight ng Fatima? I think it is faith. Kailangan talagang we need to to bring out the faith, uh, the faith in people. Kasi nga, uh, mara, uh, ang mundo is also powerful. But to show to everybody that we, the, uh, the power that we have comes from God. And this is being mediated by Mary. Sana may experience natin yung kapangyarihan yan. We can turn away from sin. We can go back to God. And God is a father who is uh, very welcoming to sinners and, uh, and so on. Kaya nga, we go beyond the problems of people on sickness, on money, on professional life. But the reality of world war the reality of communism, the reality of the things that would threaten the whole world. And probably idulog natin sa kanya, the, the reality of uh, tawag dito, ecology problem natin. Kaya nga, uh, in our relationality with God, uh, it goes beyond this life. God takes care of us even beyond death. Uh, and this is wow. para sa akin, maliwanag sa Our Lady of Fatima. Mm-hmm. At yung meron din po mga our lady of lords meron pa po niyan diba yes uh, yes but pero uh, uh, baka gusto ko yung magtanong muna sa our lady of fatima marami mo kaming tanong baka mamaya nasa siya ko na yung mga tanong <laughs> oh sige sige we, pro- we proceed to our lady of lords sige we proceed to our lady of lords okay another simple presentation of the blessed mother in this grotto or cave Makita ninyo, si Mama Mary is without a crown. Mama Mary appears simply. The only distinction uh, na makikita natin dito is her blue sash. And then nakalagay sa baba, Soy uh, Immaculada, Immaculada Concepcion. Very simple. In an atmosphere that is f- filled with nature uh, very rich with nature too big uh, let's continue oh tinanyo because it is located in uh, at the at the feet of P- 
Pyrenees, uh, the mountains. Kaya nga, itong tubig na ito, tubig, masasabi kong buhay, uh, ito melted snow na that has flown all the way from the mountain. You see, it's the same water, the same source of water na nakukuha natin sa 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 cave it is same source of water the same water na nakikita natin sa river it's the same water kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo kung lulublog kayo sa sa doon sa sa place designated para sa mga may sakit at saka doon sa hotel pareho yung tubig na ginagamit ninyo ah, kaya nga sabi ko everything in lords is consecrated at if there is anything if there is any character ng lords it is the cure for the sick Sick people come. Kahit hindi nila kayang, uh, tawag dito, yung kanilang sarili. There, there are plenty of volunteers to push the wheelchair, to take care of them. And you know very well that sick people always leave lords with a sense of healing. Kung hindi physical, spiritual healing. Kaya nga, yan ang number one characteristics ng lord. Simplicity, but it addresses our woes as people who are wounded with sickness, with one kind of sickness or another. If you look at the end, my message ako dyan, present. can we move forward with our slides? Uh, we are a suffering church. In our, wounded, in our wounded selves, we experience the intimacy of God, and that becomes clear in Lourdes. In our sickness, we uncover our believing selves. We have heard many people na, di ba, kung hindi sila nagkasakit, they would not learn how to pray. They would not learn how to see themselves before the throne of God. And in Lourdes, we need to care for one another. We need to be sensitive to those who are hurting around us. Pope Francis has repeated this message. Be sensitive. Hindi pwedeng tayo lang. Let's go on. Let's proceed. Let's proceed with yes. the next slides. Okay. Well, this is my last presentation. Oh. Our Lady of Montserrat. This is not popular to people. But I insisted of presenting this. Bakit po? Kasi lahat ng santong dumadaan sa Spain talagang nagpukugay sa Our Lady of Montserrat. Oh. And I could cite, I could cite two, two famous saints. The first is Ignatius of Loyola. And the second is Escriba. She is enshrined here. She is enshrined here. Uh, kung makikita ninyo, it is an elevated uh, mountain. At alam nyo, from sacred scriptures, all sacred places, the meeting place of God, are all elevated. Mm. All elevated. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga, Mount Sinai, Mount Moriah, lahat, uh, lahat puro mountains. Mm -hmm. kahit, nga, oh, kahit nga Beatitudes, it's always elevated also. But there, uh, it became the monastery of the, of the uh, Benedictine monks. Kaya nga, the contemplative side of this devotion is very strong. Alam nyo, mm -hmm. in all other devotions, masyado tayong madaldal. Masyado tayong madaldal. Kasi we want to pour out uh, whatever is on our heart. Pero, pero dito sa Montserrat, we are encouraged to be silent. We're encouraged oh. to... Because the mother... Tingnan nyo, tingnan nyo uli yung image ng Blessed Mother. Nakaupo. It is a contemplative posture. Nakaupo mm -hmm. siya. Willing to listen to us. And if only oh, wow. we are also willing to listen to her. That's beautiful. And then, we gaze at the beauty of God. Kasi alam nyo, bawat isa sa atin, meron tayong dark side. And God allows us sometimes to go through those dark side, ang kinatawag natin, the dark night of the soul. And she oh. will be there to mm. grant us calmness, confidence, hope that we can go through this. And then it will cease the mission God wants us. So, ganyan po kaganda yung Our Lady of Montserrat. So I suppose para to the contemplative posture, the listening side, and gazing the beauty of God. Nakakatuwa yan, Father. Habang nakikinig Sige ako po. sa inyo, talagang nai-inspire ako. 
nakakatuwa kasi you know yung sinasabi ninyo na she is presented as a queen a ruler but a mother who really takes care of us at saka yung sinasabi ninyo na talagang uh, we are a sick we have sickness and we can appeal to our uh, mother mother mary kaya nga si mama mary tayo mga filipinos no ang tawag po natin ay si mama mary ganyan ang ating tawag Ah, uh, tanong ko lang, uh, Father, <laughs> nakapag-join po kayo, naglilid po kayo ng mga pilgrimages papunta sa mga lugar na ito? Mm-hmm. O kayo lang talaga mag-isa? Anong ginagawa sa mga pilgrimages na yan? Yes po. Yes, yes po. Yes po, and may lahat. Uh, uh, with a group. Yes, and it was uh, the last group that we had was organized by Don D. Ocampo, who owns ah. Nepal Points, yung ating official travel agent sa UST. And uh, uh-huh. we, uh, doon sa listahan ni Don D., ginawa niyang nine, nine, uh, nine uh, shrines, uh, nine shrines, parang novena. And... Uh, It was also a beautiful way because we took our time. Hindi kami nagmadali. We took our time to really to relate to on sa what the particular devotion, what the particular devotion offers us. At siyempre, we could make our choice at the end. Mas touch ako rito. Mas tinatawag yeah. ako rito. At alam nyo kung saan ka talaga at home. You become oh, that person na talagang talagang qualified to share on that devotion. Oh, oh. oh I see. Attorney Dwight, may tanong ka. Kaya nga yeah, po, yeah, uh, it is a little bit. Sige po. Uh, yes, Father. Yung activities, uh, para-parehas po ba yan? Or magkakaiba bawat uh, pilgrimage na gagawin? May similarity. May similarity. Uh, Opo. May similarity. Uh, for example, uh, yung praying of the rosary, komo niyan procession common yan. Kaya lang, yung yung uh, special feature, makita nyo, nakapila dyan ang mga tao. For example, in Lourdes. At makikita natin, they are all looking for water. Bawat tumutulo dyan sa, dyan sa cave na yan, makita mo, how people would touch it with faith. Malay natin kung they're praying for somebody who is seriously sick. Uh, makita mo, uh, masarap, you get carried away by the faith of people. Because faith is alive, talagang. Uh, yeah. Nakikita mo, nararamdaman mo. Oh, nararamdaman yeah. mo. Kaya nga, yeah. uh, yung, yung mga pagkakaiba lang yung aking gustong i, i, i bring up. Pero as I've said, may mga stations of the cross yan, may mga confessions going on in the different shrines. Uh, We set our pilgrims free kung anong gusto nila but we got, we come together for the mass <laughs> kapag ah, mass at okay. saka, oh. kapag misa yeah. and, and, uh, but uh, I yes what really struck me most is that uh, tama yung sabi ni Father no? you 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 go to them for specific devotions at uh, kanina nga we were talking about the the uh, the, the Dominican na led no Masila, our lady of lanaval our lady of manawag and we we can actually go to them for prayers uh, relative to covid-19 tapos na sa, yes and sabi ni father sa our lady of fatima no uh, she can be our mother for our ecology by the time yeah. <laughs> at yung earth naman yung healing of the earth kasi alam naman natin the earth is sick now mm-hmm. we can actually go to our lady of lords okay. Ako na pakaganda niya. Oo, oo. Mayroon mga particular na requests. May yes. particular na request. Nako, Attorney Dwight, ang request ko naman ngayon, baka merong me- messages dyan para kay Peter. Kailangan na natin basahin. Baka mawalan tayo ng time. Hindi right. marinig ni Father. Sige nga, meron tayong messages. Oh, let's Or take a message. Dyan, may greetings okay. na yan. Yeah. Attorney so, Dwight, Hi, Father Max. Uh, great to hear from you. Greetings to Dr. Evelyn and Attorney Dwight. Di ba? Siyempre, pag pinag-usapan din ang, ang pilgrimages, uh, devotion to Mother Mary, tandito sa atin si Father Max. So, yan. So, indeed, with Mama Mary's intercession, 
so that the pandemic would be completely eradicated from this mm -hmm. world. Thank you, Dr. Nandi. Yeah. Yes, and Ma'am Ida, Ma'am Ida Chonko, our Blessed Mother always calls us to prayer, call us to prayer. So comforting to know we have a mother always looking after us, especially during these challenging times. Yeah, and that's something mm -hmm. that we during our darkest times. Uh, yes. Ating Mama Mary. And again, from uh, Doc uh, Pedrosa, I do. I'm a devotee of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, Our Lady of Fatima, and Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, who personally appeared to St. Catherine Labor and her daughters. I'm the daughters of charity. She has never failed me in my request. Ayan. Ako, sorry, sorry. Okay. Hindi na natin mababasa yung iba. No? Sorry, wala na tayong time. Kaya kailangan natin tanongin na si Father Max ano ang kanyang uh, message sa ating uh, viewers. Father, ano po ang message ninyo sa ating mga viewers? Paki, paki flash po yung last. My last... Okay, yeah. flash yung aking last. I have one. The last slide, please. Ayan, yung summary. Meron talagang pinroject ni Father, ha? <laughs> Ang kanyang summary. Our devotions, our devotions to the Blessed Mother oh, would fuel our faith. And uh, devotions would make our faith alive. And nothing, there is nobody who would not like to enliven their faith. Faith fully alive is what we, what we aim. At uh, isa lang, isang Maria lang lahat yan. Uh, the little differences would always just suit the particular need of different people. But what is important is we are all drawn to Jesus. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Oo. Oh, oh. Nakakatuwa. Thank you so much, Father. That was really very inspiring. Attorney Dwight, yes? Thank you, Father, for joining us tonight. And uh, thank you to the UST Pax Romana Alumni Association and Dr. Uh, Igidio Dong Elio, President of the UST Pax Romana Alumni Association. Thank you to the UST Alumni Association, likewise. To our fellow alumni, uh, follow our Facebook page. Uh, UST Alumni Association Inc. page. Visit our website, alumni, uh, ustalumniassociation.org as well. Support our Thomasian Alumni Community Exchange or what we call the TAC Exchange, our online marketplace where Thomasian sellers and buyers meet. Contact us at our Facebook page. Thank you to the College of Education Alumni Association for buying 10 uh, Cargasus books. No? Napakagandang storybook po ito. They will donate some of their Cargasus books to the small private mission schools. Yung pong public schools na interesado magkaroon ng storybook na ito, contact Dr. Marilyn Cano at 0917-820-1103. Individuals who would like to purchase this book, you may also contact Mrs. San Juan at 917 0742 we also have this beautiful set of Katinko products uh, from Tax Exchange. You can also see that in our Facebook page. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Father. We have learned so much this evening. We are inspired and we hope that we will respond to the call of Mama Mary, ang kanyang panana, uh, manawag. No? Siya ay na nananawag sa atin para magdasal. Okay, and we pray the rosary. Uh, at this point, I'd like to congratulate the USC Faculty of Arts and Letters who is celebrating its quasquicentennial celebration to the Faculty of Medicine and Surgery and Faculty of uh, Pharmacy on their 150th founding anniversary. Thank you to all the officers, members, and volunteers of the USC AAI. Let's continue dreaming weaving, believing, and inspiring. And of course, thank you to the CBRC uh, staff. Join us once more here at Bridges on Sunday, May 7th, Mother's Day po ito. At 6 p.m., let's be inspired by Miss Gina Domingo, 
a mother of two. And here at Bridges, yes, here at Bridges, we do not build walls. We build connections, connections of people, and connections of knowledge. Here at Bridges, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, bridges of love. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Have a great uh, week ahead. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Good night.